I was a big fan of Harvest Moon when it came out on the GameCube. My future wife and I spent way more time than we should have playing it instead of studying in college. When Stardew Valley first came out, it piqued my interest. Maybe it could scratch the same itch. But I was busy at the time, so I put it off until this year when it was on sale. I immediately loved the trip back to the SNES era graphics and the love and care that Concerned Ape obviously put into the game. As I advanced in the game, each new level of skills brought new fun to the game. It's pretty easy to see why he has such a dedicated fan base on his subreddit. I will say, I'm a little surprised when I see people on the subreddit who have farms that are way past year 3. There's definitely a lot to do in Stardew Valley, but the biggest reason I haven't finished, you know, getting to the end of year 2, is because I've reached a point where essentially I have infinite money and nothing else I truly want to buy. It's the same thing that ended up killing Harvest Moon for my wife. Now I do understand the replayability factor, there are many reasons for that, including the fact that there's 4 or 5 different maps which require different farm strategies. I hope sometime in 2020 to finish the game, and then maybe later in 2020 to start a new farm. To be honest, I completely forgot I had played any single player games for Civ 6. I thought it was all going to be multiplayer turns. Yet in this year I played as Sonduck, Washington, Poundmaker, and Koopa. And yes, I played a ton of multiplayer games. In the aftermath of EA screwing up Max's classic SimCity, I checked out Cities XL. It was alright, and I had some fun with it. But soon after, I started hearing that, that wasn't the game you wanted to be playing, you wanted to be playing Cities Skylines. Recently, it was available as part of a Humble Bundle, so I installed it, and I got re-addicted to city building and city running. I started off the year very frustrated because something had changed. I don't know if it was in Spelunky, Gog, Windows, or the Nvidia drivers, but it became impossible to record a game session. Then, somehow, I just had the idea to switch to recording the screen instead of the game, and that seemed to make the encoder happy. Spelunky was back on, and the kids got even more into it than they had been the previous year. I didn't remember playing any Pokemon this year. I thought we'd last played in 2018. I've never played any of the games as they came out when I was older, but I'd like to see this one to the end. Maybe Scart and I will pick it up again in 2020. The funny thing about this game is that when I got the Sonic Bundle from Humble Bundle, I was intending to play the more traditional Sonic games with my kids, but they really glommed onto the racing game. It was even more of a surprise since they haven't ever really wanted to play Mario Kart. If you've been following my yearly video game wrap-ups, you know I've been really enjoying the heck out of roguelites and roguelikes. As par for the course, with the latest generation of rogue descendants, this one has a really fun sense of humor, particularly in the definites that each character has, um, like being, you know, short-sighted or being really tiny or whatever. Hey guys, welcome to Extra Life 2020 campaign. Once again, I'm going to be raising money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Um, I've been doing this for a few years now, but maybe you're new to my channel, new to um, see me raise money for Johns Hopkins. Um, I'm doing it because they helped save uh, my oldest daughter's life uh, when she was first born and then again when she was two. Um, she had two really life-saving operations. Uh, and also, uh, my twins were born in a hospital affiliated with Johns Hopkins. So it means so much to me to raise money to help other kids that really need their services. So um, if you can, just donate. Any amount helps. Um, anything from you know a recurring small donation all the way up to you know 25, 50, 100, anything, anything, any amount makes a difference. And so I ask you to help. 
um, donate and, and help out, and also enjoy whatever I'm about to play next. It's time for Eric Plays The Witcher 2, Episode 4. Alright, so yesterday I realized that um, my audio was being eclipsed by the game audio. Um, I figured out after my live stream, unfortunately, not during the live stream. But I did um, fix that. Um, I hope. We'll see. Uh, what I also did was I... Um, uh, set up OBS so that it would record my mic and the game audio to different channels so I can fix it in post. Um, oh, I'm still in nighttime mode here for my, I mean, daytime mode for my chroma key. I believe if I go back, to, if I go now to nighttime mode, that should help quite a bit. Let me change that here. Nighttime chroma. Uh, just, I uh, guess my shirt's just uh, a little too close to green. The daytime one was actually working a little better. So we'll go back to daytime one. All right. So there's that. And uh, let's see. Let's get the game audio back in. And let's get back into the game. Here we go. All right. So <coughs> uh, I played a little bit in order to test that I had gotten my audio fixed. And I, like I said, I believe it's in a better shape now. It certainly seems to be on the monitor in a much better place than um, it was yesterday in comparison to the game. Hopefully the game is not too small, too low now. We'll see. All right. So we'll resume the game in this rainy town here. Um, I also tried to increase the encoder a bit because I noticed it wasn't quite as good. Oh, hey, uh, Golart. Thanks for the follow there. Um, so I just came into this town here. And let's see what we have to do. Oh, right, go to the town square and I have to watch an ex execution. I bet actually I'm not going to be watching it. I bet you anything, Geralt's going to uh, interfere. So anyway, I'm a woman. <laughs> what does that mean? We're gonna talk to which <laughs> So I noticed Squirrel Sorcerer uh, summoned this rain that the encoder I had uh, for the video I was saving. Um, oh, hey, it's pretty cool you live in Brazil. Neat. Um, so I was gonna say summoned this rain. Squirrel sorcerers. <laughs> Squirrel sorcerers. That's hilarious. Uh, let's see what's over here. Maybe some more supplies for me. Alright, so hopefully, anyway, the game will look a little better in the Let's Play. Or in the, you know, the archives where I fix things up. Than it did before where it would get kind of a little scratchy. Um because the bitrate wasn't so good. Just not as used to streaming. I'm used to just recording straight for later. Damn it. I'm stealing all your stuff, that's what. <laughs> Alright, gotta get some stuff from here. Timber. Alright, over here, some stuff. Alright. Yep. Sure. Sure, oops. Something hiding over here I didn't take from before. So this is, I would say, perhaps the most boring part of the game, is grabbing all these things. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not super boring or anything. It's just, obviously, like if this was an actual... Uh, yeah, I speak Spanish, uh, not Portuguese. Um, just like the horse I can sometimes... Um, kind of understand some Portuguese, but I actually understand Italian more than I understand Portuguese. Um, <coughs> Portuguese just sounds like like I'm trying to understand Spanish, but someone is uh, 
just purposely messing things up a little. Uh, put your face too close. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure in the Witcher Netflix game, he's not just like grabbing all these like mushrooms from everywhere. That would just be ridiculous. Oh, some behind these people. I wonder if I can push them out of the way. My frog. Just lovely. Uh, so only no, not solo, right? Solo would be only you only speak Spanish, right? But you also speak Portuguese. At least I assume you do. <laughs> be kind of weird if you lived in Brazil and didn't speak Port Portuguese. I imagine, or at least Brazilian Portuguese. Um, I do have some Portuguese ancestors, but that's way, way, way back, way back. I work the material. Um, let's see. Stay away from me. Uh, so what part of uh, Brazil are you from? Let's see, I assume that is a place to get pork, but I could be wrong. Let's go kill some monsters. Yeah, let's kill some monsters, little kid. Instead, I'm gonna go rob some people. Oh, that's... Just went straight into a post there. I wouldn't mind a donut about now. A donut? Come on, man. There's no donuts in this time period. What are you talking about? I'm gonna take all your stuff for being stupid. Now. Why is this person? Oh, she's scrubbing. I was like, what's going on here? I thought she fainted. Un follow Inglis. See. <coughs> I've never seen an Enya by itself. Usually in Spanish, it's got some vowels around around it. All right, let's see. Anything else in here that I should be stealing? Oh, steal right from this lady, right in front of this lady. This is the funny thing. Like, in Legend of Zelda, at least no one's in the house while you're robbing them. But here, you're taking stuff right from people's noses, which is pretty weird. Um, have you seen the uh, Cloth Map channel? Um, it's this guy who used to work at Giant Bomb who goes um, to different countries to see their video game um, communities. He went to Brazil and it was really neat. <laughs> At least I believe he did. I could be misremembering. Alright, let's climb up to the top of this house. Hey, there's a guy hammering his roof here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa. How cool. There's a pig being butchered over there. The, uh... No entiende nada más. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. What do you guys call uh, uh, like if you make if you were to make uh, that pork shoulder there? What would you guys call it in Spanish? Right, we sing lechon, lechon de puerco. All right, let's go in this house. someone's freaking broom that seems mean I want to steal this guy's pork I, I just had some uh, some tacos today so I wouldn't mind some pork all right let's see doop, 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 doop. Ooh, something I missed back here oh, right there some timber Timber. Pretty soon I'll be able to build a freaking boat or something. Well, it's timber I'm taking. Bye. It was nice having you here, dude. Adios. Ciao. <laughs> I heard the poets to aim for the debauchery. Buena noche. The debauchery. All right. Let's the see. Let's go up here. Oh, Must have gone on a real romp, that one. Right oh, there it is. Search. They timber. say he's a famous rake from Vizima. Ah. Let's see. Boom, Grassman District. Huh, it was a wanted poster for that dude. Huh. 
Oh, no, don't. Uh, uh, whatever. I guess it's time to go see the hanging. But I don't want to. I want to go in here. And I want to take a picture with that. There we go. Alright, now we go in. Slan. Slan, I don't know what it is. Cow? Juice? Juice? I don't know. Slan? <laughs> oh, he's probably gone by now, but that's pretty funny. Alright, let's see. Let's go in this house before we go to the execution. No? Maybe not. Alright, let's watch the execution. There's Vernon. Vernon Roach. Vernon Kukaracha. Zoltan. Dandelion. Hey, Sultan. Just great. Hey, it's my friend. What's the plan? We improvise. Mm. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Yeah, your magic sucks now. Geralt! Geralt! Over here, help! <laughs> All right, let's see. Find a way to free this dandelion and Zoltan. Do I have a timer? Because this takes as long as it takes. Hmm. I'm just bored. Drag it. Contract. Okay. 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 Sure. And get a haircut. Might find something right. interesting here. Alright, and this is that dude. Yorvis. Oh! Oh! Unit of squirrels. I was like, how are squirrels causing it to rain? <laughs> now I get it. Now I get it. Alright. Let's uh, see how do we save our friends here. Do we just go up the thing? Step back, white one. What? Stand aside. I know those two and I won't let them hang. Piss on who you know. The law says that a hang. Carry on and you'll join them. I don't give a shit. Stop the execution. Careful, Wanderer. You could lose your tongue for that. I've heard of you and know you can fight. But you'll not take on the whole garrison. Or maybe I will. Oi, Tin Man, that's pure rubbish. You're talking to the famed Geralt of Rivia, you are. Commandant Laredo rules this town, and it's his orders I follow. Piss off, Jesters, before I have you beaten good. You're a disgrace to your uniform, you shitty little idiot. <laughs> what? Hey, boys, lend me a hand here. Got an uppity little oh, one that needs a freshen. Take a swing, runt. I dare you. Can't turn that down. Get him! Kick him in the balls! Kick him in the balls? No, don't kick me in the balls. Yeah, you Ow, my face. Want to square with the others? Ah! Look here, out! Assaulted an officer! <laughs> Come on up! Got room ah! for one more deviant! Ooh, ouch. You freak! Want to square with the others? Ah! <laughs> They'll hang anyway! Mm, that's not good. Look here, out! Assaulted an officer! No. I'm gonna die. They'll hang anyway! Slap the mutant! That's it! <laughs> you freak! Want to square yeah. with the others? Come on up! Got room for one more deviant! Oh. Look here, out! Assaulted an officer! <laughs> Oh boy. Uh oh. We got the dwarf. Or the elf. No clapping. Oh, really? Oh, I'm up here. Ouch. Oh, he 
got me back. It's just too fast, man. Maybe on a controller it might work better. Uh oh, I'm about to die. Oh boy. For no reason. What the hell is going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh. Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits, and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm. Hands off your sword. Mm. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? Your people started it. Short fuses, some of them. What mm. do I care? They started, but you finished. I had to defend my friends. Will you release them? Terrible choice of friends, Witcher. Mm. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. I'm joking. <laughs> I hate thieves. <laughs> we can put on another show, bloody and serious this time, mind you, or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, would you? Listen here. You may have heard rumors of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoyatel had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes! What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. <laughs> the scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. <laughs> What a welcome. They were really going to hang us. I, I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we all. We all you get out. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion. You need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery beneath a veneer of courtesy. <laughs> said nothing the it's pretty funny. Alright, so in the evening, go to that dude's place. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Alright, so we've got this one. Alright, so we're in Nilfgaard right now. Uh, oh, okay, so Dandelion's the one telling the story here. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Okay, there's that too. Okay. Right, so this is very entertainingly read, but 
uh, written, but not necessarily something you want to watch me either on the stream or um, later on YouTube. Just taking a look at. So I wonder why these have check marks and these do not. Perhaps I didn't do exactly what I was supposed to do, or maybe I did. Let's see. All right, so these are all the prologue things I did. Oh, that'll be good for catching up if I ever have another long absence from the game. All right, so we've done these things. All right, um, so this is that. All right, so now we have this in the evening. <coughs> All right, so looks like we have some things we could work on. But then the question is let's see, locations. Okay. Alright, so there's Flotsam. Alright, so... So there's that. There's a brothel. So that's one place I could probably go until... Um, until it's time to meet with the guy. And there's the forests. Okay, characters. These are some crafting. All right, monsters, no entries, tutorials, alchemy, and whatever. Okay, so, so that was that. I is this. All right, so if I go to the map. <coughs> All right, we've got, I'm here. Okay, get a better idea of what these, are. so this is a craftsman. Okay, this is a shop, a shop. Decent proposals here. <coughs> <coughs> I wonder where I could go to, um, to do those uh, contracts. Let's see. Let's go up here see what's going on at this. What's in is this? Okay, maybe I go in through here. Don't start any brawls. Peace and quiet. Get it? Yes. I've got my eye on you. Why? Alright, so this is what I have, this is what she has. Yeah, it's all junk. Forget it. Alright. Let's see. Over here. Hey, it's an elf, I think. Or a dwarf. No, no. Are these guys? <laughs> Damn, that was close! Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat <laughs> to me. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be alright. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. Love got fucked. There will be no wedding. Hmm. Did you hear about folks? Poor guy. Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon. Was there really one there? And who rules Tamaria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Triss. You're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivale, I bet. Among others. 
After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. <laughs> Humans. <laughs> in spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Where were the mages? Hi. Where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stand to marry if he's crowned. Good parties, Dandelion. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Labs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure. But that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds a significant stake. Hmm. That's never good. I think I've heard enough about politics. The dragon. Well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltest might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. No wedding, Zoltan. Ha! <laughs> the Bregan rigs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would-be popular refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. Enkeep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand Dublin, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, <laughs> they served the soup. You could have held a pin drop. Old Brecken rose and he says, A real dwarf works the mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrick says, then proceeded to slop two full balls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. <laughs> Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Mm. Relax, Dandelion. I that was, was just cool. asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania, now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Even me, get out. They play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. You know how he is. <laughs> Foltest Killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. Well informed. Wait a minute, what were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. I guess that was the, the uh, separated us from the rest of the army. Epilogue of the last. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a okay. blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, and cut the king's throat from ear to ear. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. 
And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. <coughs> I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. At your service. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Whoa. An octopus. Of sorts. <laughs> So this are you. A lot of good you did. Can't don't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. His Let's mother. Say I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Mm. Why's the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? Mm. To see it in all its splendor. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Mm. Right, we've dawdled enough already. Come on, lads, <laughs> let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it and come on. I, like I apologize for interrupting, tricks. Pretty but awesome. I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? Sure. I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. <laughs> Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. An interesting world this is where they have someone whose job it is to be the Trist, monster hunter guy. How long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. That headgear is Here to hunt amazing. down some ingredients. Tris Merigold, sharp as ever. Hmm. You're thinking that. Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species to throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. <laughs> Your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. Hmm. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairn emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? And no, that's what I was thinking. Cedric? Formerly a Scoyotel. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. 
Hmm. An investigation. Witchers' rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward. Pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> These two. Alright, let's see. Are these the merchants on the waterfront? I'm not sure. Eh. It's probably somewhere else. Not these guys. Not. Say something. Or did you just fall? Going somewhere, friend. Toll collector's house. Okay. Hopefully that means it's on the map now. Maybe these doors here are the merchants. You free? No. Working my ass off like a stagecoach. Uh. Hmm. Is that what these guys are? Let's see here. Witcher Geralt. Known also as the White Wolf. Am I that hard to distinguish from the locals? Mm. Taller warned me you'd be catty. Taller sent you. Indeed. I'm on business here, so he insisted I give you a message and a package. What's the message? I quote him faithfully. Listen to Roach in every plowing thing, because though he's a prick, he's also a patriot. Vultures already circle Foltest's corpse, but I'll manage. Get the sons of bitches and keep your head cool. Mm -hmm. P.S. You really fucked up at the castle. <laughs> Give me the package. Take it. It's a weight off my mind, I tell you. Ah, I wouldn't make much of an agent. All that secrecy and nerves and cursing, not my style. Good luck to you. I'm off to tend to my matters. Godspeed. Give my best to Taller. Oh, I will. Hmm. Right, so that's that guy. Hey there, Witcher! Are you Geralt of Rivia, sir? Who's asking? Thank you, Master, for what you did outside Lavalette Castle. Our family would have perished if not for you. Oh, these are some of the people I saved. Please accept this modest nice. gift. And I didn't ask them for money. Maybe I get more now. I can't accept this. But give my regards to your relatives. Maybe that'll help me even more in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so... Okay, completed a quest, apparently. Alright, let's see. Let's go... Map. Gosh darn it. There you go. That's a merchant. Alright, so maybe I just need to turn around and take a look at the merchants back there. <coughs> maybe these are the merchants. Let's see. So how's it going? How nice. Everything alright at the castle? <laughs> yeah, it's just screaming in data. Alright. Okay, let's see. You're right here. There you go, maybe. Welcome to my modest shop. What do you deal in? All kinds of incense, mainly. For meditation, rejuvenation, cooking, making medicine, rituals, whatever you require. I've got 242 bucks. Hmm. 
Let's see, formula, Brock. Sure, I'll buy some of this. Alright. Okay. Hey there. How are you? Uh. Okay. Yeah, it's like my primary way of getting money is just robbing people. At some point, I expect my backpack's gonna get full. Some stuff up there, I guess. Some people training. Alright, that box has got some oil. More money. Swords. Stuff. Whatever that is. Okay, I think that covers everything. Get over here. And some I know here. your kind. Sure you do. Right now you're in my way. Okay. Carrying too much weight now. I'm walking slowly. <laughs> I had a feeling the weight would come back to me at some point. Let's see. I wonder if I've even begun to speak to all the people I need to speak to yet. Alright, let's see. Inventory. Alright, let's see. Let's go to weapons. Alright, so. Steel sword, silver sword. Okay, so. These are all steel swords here. This is 12 to 17. Oh, this is a cutlass. Alright, this is a steel sword. Okay. This is 13 to 18. So I should use this one instead of that one. Okay. Rusty dagger. Additional weapon. Where would that go? Here? Maybe we don't have a place to put them just yet. Short sword. Alright. 13 to 18. Additional item. Let's just go here. No. Figure it out at some point. A broom. Healing. Rusty dagger. Blackjack. Sword, steel, sword, steel, sword, steel, sword. Alright, so now let's look. Uh, is there a way to say magical only? Because that'd be awesome. Alright, let's see. This one's magical. Alright, let's go to Silver Sword here. Alright, this one's 11 to 18. Oops, I lost it now. Alright, let's see magical. So back to Diablo, I guess. Oh. I mean, I 
indeed. Where are these little dots there? Are? Um, 19, 13, 13, 18. Common sword, though. Alright, um, alright. I guess let's go to the vendor. Getting too much weight. Oh. Welcome to my. What do you all from it? Can I sell him weapons? Let's see. Okay. Don't need two of those. Don't need all of these. That gets me to a place where maybe I'm not too heavy now. Yep, okay. So this is, to me, this would be the water. So, I could be wrong. Maybe it's still people there. Oh no, I'm not talking to a freak. <coughs> Wait a minute. Be off, or I'll call the guards. I pinch my mm -hmm. ass and don't even remember. Boss, why the? Are your what? service. Damn it. Welcome. What are you looking at? Yeah. <laughs> Dog catcher. Oh, looks like I've already got something over here. Yeah. Say something, or did you just fart? What's in these crates, boss? King Friday's crates. And in those? The Amber Room. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, something here. Alright. Craftsman District. Not here in this tree. Huh, what is the heck is that? It's raining again, I guess. Hey, boss! Look who's graced our smithy! That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy! Works are blur in his <coughs> hand. And how are you, Witcher? Things working out for you? Nice workshop. Bah, it's no workshop, just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the Master's. So how can we help you, eh? Right, let's see. Oh. Is this all I can do? I have to get that. So. Let's see. These are expensive. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's worth the money. Alright. Uh. 
Press the robust leather reinforcements. Hmm. Take a look at what I've got really quickly here. Oops, wrong thing. If I do my armor. How do I enhance it? If I can. Enhancements. Here we go. Okay, so it's one upgrade. Two upgrades. I think I'll hold off and upgrade my sword for now. Put it in my pocket, I guess. This part here is about crafting. Okay. Crafting diagrams, lures, junk. Alright. So I guess that's it for now. Trophy's probably what hangs at his side like in Gwent. I guess we'll find it. Hello, right. ghetto. Let's try some so nice things. Mini game time. What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. Do we know each other? I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Wow, mm. so nice to Rivia. <laughs> Einar Gausel, fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with a non-human community. Books in Flotsam? I wouldn't have thought it a profitable enterprise. Hey, many foreigners come through here. Sometimes they buy books, sometimes they have tomes to sell. Yesterday, for example, Lady Sheila de Tanceville purchased items for a sum equal to my yearly dealings. Hmm. Did she buy anything interesting? De Vermis Mysteries, the Exeter Treaties, complete and unabridged, plus a very expensive volume I'd rather not mention. I should add, as generosity must be praised, that she made a donation to the community, specifically to the Fund for Widows and Orphans. The non-humans in Flotsam are organized? We aren't, but we aid each other as best we can. 
I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorvith. <laughs> You're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. Mm. Well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. Mm. We lost our trust in the humans, and the Scoia'tael ceased trusting us. Did they turn up? The women? No. I believe Necker's killed them. I remember Moral of the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna do... A full point deal. Oh, cost money? Yeah, forget it. I don't have enough coin. Alright, so let's see. Oh, Mind if wait. I have. Take your time. Godspeed! Alright, let's see here. Did someone just knock that over? I just took his money. Nonsense. Just nonsense. Nothing there. Gonna be heavy again soon. Yep. All right, let's take a look at my inventory here. Dwarven enhancement. Nice. All right. Maybe I'm not too heavy anymore. Nope, still too heavy. Gotta go sell some stuff, I guess. Oh, I mean the non-human district somehow. Quirrell sorcerer has summoned this rain. I didn't realize that. Done the it. whole sun. <laughs> Money has no weight. Look at my inventory. If I look at junk, I think I can get money for the junk. So I just need to get back to the the vendor. My place is there. Necessarily helping anything. Do, 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 do
do, do, do. All right. Gotta find my way back to the uh, vendor from before. Craftsman shop. I guess I gotta get back here somewhere. Can I set a point or something? Which way am I facing now? Okay, cool. Just gotta go around these buildings. Prices stay as they are, and I'll not join your guild. Here comes the period. Think I agree. No, I, I don't know. Should we just walk up and ask him like that? Mm. Take a good look at him. He'd be good. Hey! Huh. Doing some laundry out here. Greetings. Mind if I take a look at what you have in stock? Certainly. You're welcome to. I'm Fioravanti, a merchant. Not to be nosy, but weren't you hired to kill the Kairan? These guys are still hanging back there. I'll be glad when the blockade is finally lifted. The Rita won't let you traders out until it suits him. Seems he needs you here for some reason. What's that supposed to mean, damn it? Is he organizing some international trade fair? Mm. I'm a subject of King Demavend. And I tell you... Demavend's dead. Ah. Uh. Now, if you don't mind, can we get down to business? <laughs> mm, I want to sell you all my junk. Maybe that's something I should keep. I mean, if it says it's junk, right? It's junk, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe I'll regret it later. Maybe it's just the type of thing to get you to not carry too much. Alright, cool. Maybe I'm still carrying too much weight. I just turned it. God bless you. You should pray more. Okay. Talk to this guy back here. I'm walking through town because I've got too much in my pockets. Alright. Welcome. What? Alright, let's see. Additional weapon, huh? Second, I thought that said coronavirus, and I was like, What? Oh, Albert, huh? Eh, maybe I'll keep it for now. This I don't need anymore. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, hang on to that for now. Hopefully, they didn't sell one in my important uh, swords. I guess I'll find out in a minute. Trousers. Let's see. I should be able to sell anything I've got equipped, but who knows. 
Mage's trousers, boots, steel sword. Steel sword. Okay. Alright. Should be unencumbered now. Yes. Very good. He's green. Green, perhaps in here. Let's see. Let's go upstairs. Well, upstairs where the lady is, right? Nope, that's a different Come lady. Come on, nearly got him. Go on, a wee bit more. Change your grip. Humans know as much about arm wrestling as I know about screwing trolls. Hmm. Elven prostitute. Hey, looks like it's gonna play a video. Maybe it's the right place. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, <coughs> know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. Hmm, you did turn pale when we met Sheila. We must have imagined that. <laughs> I know you too well. Sheila's one of the most powerful sorceresses. That's no reason to fear her. She can't be trusted, in my experience. I know her to be devious and manipulative. Any proof? She's well aware you lost your memory, yet pretended she didn't know. Uh, why would she do that? <laughs> I don't know. Her true intentions have always been hard to fathom. I'll see if I can't learn what they are. How? I'll go hunting with her, right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. All right, let's go see the entertainer. Some things. I see the elf. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every shit joke that anyone's <laughs> ever thought of. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. <laughs> Shorty's told me about his 16 children, yeah, all named kids. after Temerian troop divisions. And I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. <laughs> nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. He's the brave man. <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. The massacre in Rivia, it came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non-humans, a young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? Death, or a state close to it, I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh, I was there. I arrived a moment later. Two. Don't worry, Tris. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. What's your business? I need to know if the forest's safe. How am I to know it's if that's safe. truly what you see? It's common knowledge that you're racist. We're going to stage. I guess he's up there, maybe? He said tower. After you. Alright. Hey, Belk. It'll be nearly a year. 
year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the longing. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let other shade poison your memory of her. Hatred oh, that's how you pronounce that? Outlet for helplessness. I wish that was Sid here. Thank you, Cedric. Shit. Vafail. Vafail. Hmm. Now I'll know for next time I read any books that involve elves. Like the Night Court and all that stuff. I mean, Winter Court, Summer Court. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, Creepy looking to me. say, Cedric. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? <coughs> the elf woman you were talking about. How did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished, almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful, and Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Saharan? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone. And neither I nor Sir Harim can reverse that. Who exactly are you? One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old. Even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it. Though it's nothing I can explain. <laughs> At times I make mistakes and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. Hmm. Interesting thing that he uh, provides there. I need to make a few orns. You wouldn't happen to have a job for a witcher, would you? There's never a shortage of work for a witcher in this forest. It's positively teeming with beasts. Though I'm not surprised they come here in droves. Know why that is? Cursed places attract all sorts of scum, like dung attracts flies. There was once a great house in the clearing. They locked up lunatics there. During the war with Nilfgaard, it was raised of in a fire. The lunatics broiled in their cells. The ruins remain cursed to this day. Two daredevils went off to explore the ruins recently. They haven't been seen since. A great house, you say? Tell me more about the building itself. It was an old manor house that was converted into a mental institution. There was no shortage of lunatics in wartime. They just kept coming. Reverend Mercey locked them up in there and looked after them. If you find the two people lost in the ruins of the mental asylum, you stand to be handsomely rewarded by them or their families. No harm in trying. What are the Skoyatel fighting for? Do you ask about the old ones who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the young ones who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they're but a shadow of the Enshe's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life, or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. I aim to kill the Cairn. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. No. Now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed, and it has strange growths on its tentacles, extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. 
You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enshe. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. You'll right. find me by the boat wreck. Jeez, Triss. I'm sure you're not overusing those teleports. Uh. Nice view, right. huh? Nice view, huh? Alright, let's see here. Is the wreck up? No, I don't think so. I came up over there. Alright, so this is way back over here. Uh, Cedric is there. Imagine I'm on top of him or something, which is why I don't show up. Okay, so there's a river coming this way. I see. Okay, cool. Journal. Got okay. I've got this and this. Okay, so either way, heading into the forest seems to be where I need to go for either of those quests. Get home early today. Eat something. Get some sleep. Stop oh. annoying me. Oh. Nothing but work in a tavern. You should settle down. Find a woman. Leave me alone. Hmm. Can't you see I'd work to do? You'll be trying no one else, Sylvie, bitch. I don't know what you're talking okay. about. Become with Come Jeff. Come on, Adarina. We'll explain everything. Am I? I hit in the right direction. Whoa. Oh, yeah, there I am. Okay, cool. You no right. Don't venture so near the forest. Sorry, that's part of my quest. Question is, how do I get to the forest? Keeps getting in my way. Tangers become witches too. Alright, where the heck am I? Probably need to go back, follow the path. Out of the city and into the forest. You'll be trying no one else, LB bitch. I don't Come on, Let's see. There, there we go. Oh, this way. Four step. Does that tell me which way to go or not? What does the yellow mean? This. Whoa. Like, this is a sci fi. It's being made by the ancients or something. Ruined Bridge. Oh, my god. How many more can there be?
cool. Here's someone fighting. I don't see anyone. Welcome to drives me mad. This cursed wood is full of scum, and that horse has lost his mind. Who might that be? The troll! For years he's been collecting tolls at the bridge, for which he's to keep the bridge tidy and drive away the scum. What's the problem then? Merchants from the port sent me to find out the what and why, seeing as this is the only path out to the port inland. But I found the bridge in ruins, and that cheeky cocksucker asked for liquor to let me pass. Hmm. Across that pile of rubble, I says, and he smacks me so hard I see stars. Laredo's put a price on his head. If Laredo had his will, he'd cut us off from the world, that son of a bitch. Hmm. We need a bridge, but a working one. And we need a troll, but a sober one. If you're looking to make some coin, hold off on killing the troll and see the village chief instead. He'll tell you all you need to know. Alright, good to know. Alright, um... So there's the bridge where the troll is supposed to be. It's not necessarily where I want to be at the moment. I want to go up this way. Still going the wrong way. Right. I think the orange is taking me in the right direction. Just gotta find the right path to it. Or did I end up back in town? Because that would be annoying as a. I guess I did. I need to turn around a little bit more. Right. Maybe go back this way. This path here, if it's a path. Hmm. Tramps, like they told me to. Alright, there's Triss, maybe? Nope, maybe not. Oh, what? Bodies don't get to stay behind. That'd be too much. Not more dudes. To Tinder. 
horns. Alright, I guess I want to go this way. Maybe not. So junk, huh? Do I have two of these? Is that what that's gonna do in here? Not entirely sure. I'm not sure I need to carry a broom. There she is. I wonder what's left of that wreck Cedric mentioned. If the Karen attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. Following Tris, so I don't get lost. Following Tris, so I don't get lost. <coughs> oh, maybe she's following me now. I think that'll be it for today. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I necessarily want to stay up as late as I did yesterday. See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless that. you're looking for Other adventure. Sources. Gotta be bits of them, right? They use for potions and whatnot. The ram is stuffed with sulfur and a dead cobbler. Straight out of Eastern legends. Not good enough for the Karen, though. The ram stuck. Okay. I'm glad you're here. Feet. That's weird looking. I wonder if the thing comes back and fights me over here, but I'm not expecting it. Mm -hmm.
Oh, cool. Hey, Miguel. Thanks for the host. It's been a long time since he did that. Then again, it's been a long time since I, uh, since I streamed. Besides, you know, yesterday, right? Alright, let's see here. How do I get on the other side of this thing? Hmm. Let's see if I can figure this out here. So I can't run out into the water. Uh, I'll come up here. Okay, so see anything in particular? In here, ready? Can I come up this way? There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Maybe. Up on the oops, something happened there. There we go. All right, Mr. Greer, find the chest used by the Royal Mill. Let's see if I go to my quests. Okay, so basically I need to mail a letter later. Uh, looking for some mucus that I can use. The thing is, I'm not sure where Gerald can go. Oop, nope, let's just talk. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here too. Seem to come up this way. Let's see, something here I can find? No. Can I go around? No. Can't go that way. I'm just jog against the water. <laughs> just can join me in the water. In the beans, maybe? I feel like there's something super basic I'm missing here. I mean, you get around up there, maybe. I feel like there's a path going up that I need to find a way onto. Right here. Now, here's there. So a path that leads me up that way. Maybe my special powers? Uh, there we go. Nope, oh, didn't do anything there. Maybe, maybe this way? Nope. Okay. Hmm. I'm at a complete loss what the heck I'm supposed to be doing here. Let's see, here's the folks. So I have a feeling that I should be able to... Maybe get on the other side of that wreckage somehow. Really back up where we came from. Tells me maybe I'm going in the right direction here. Let's see. No, because I can't seem to get up there. Right, so if I go here, I don't think Tris followed me up here. She's like, no, dude, you're on your own for this dumb task. Let's see. 
Oh, the silliness of video games. What are you doing, Garrett? Alright. Ah, this stuff. There we go. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. Use my tricorder. This monster is sick, Geralt. It's dying. How much time does it have? We're all left? kind of dying, aren't we? Years? Perhaps a decade and change? Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What makes you think it's dying? I mean, I'm a mutant. The mucus cells I diagnosed are very <laughs> similar to cancer <laughs> cells. In some ways, they're more effective than healthy cells, but they're out of control. They converge to create a red tissue. Very unpleasant. The poor thing. But you brought up an interesting point. Want to know the core difference between mutants and non-mutants? Professor X? Of course I do. The changes made through alchemy and magic in your body would require thousands of years to develop on their own. This development would result from genetic errors that would cause your body to adapt, become a more efficient organism. Okay, Effective Darwin. Take, but over a very long time. How does she when know all this stuff? When this development occurs over millennia, across multiple generations, we proudly call it natural selection, evolution. When it occurs quickly, in a single organism, or a few representatives of a species, we frown on it as mutation. They know about evolution in the Witcher world. Liked me. What else? The Karen's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your Witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Osmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Karen. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? Mm -hmm. See you. Portal time. Alright, well... Mongoose potion is your old one. Okay. The paper she gave me was just a little too heavy, huh? Yep, it does have some weight to it. Studded leather. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Uh, enhancements. Alright, these things take money. All right, let's uh, put this on here, huh? Will that help me? All right. It's just that piece of paper. All right, so I stayed up a little too late yesterday playing, and I'm feeling a bit tired. So I'm going to save the game. All right. And uh, let's see. Let's get a picture by this really cool bridge here. Oh, yeah, that looks good. All right. Alright, so, this has been Eric, uh, playing The Witcher 2, and I will see you next time. Bye.